good morning i'm still prepping my soil y'all and i found out about epsom salt so i'm going to be sprinkling some of this in the garden today because it's raining and i hear that epsom salt is good for the garden because of the magnesium sulfate now i know most of you use epsom salt for soaking those achy muscles and as a laxative but turns out it's good for a lot of other things I found this Epsom salt at Family Dollar, but you can find it anywhere. I think I paid about $2 for it. Let's get to it. So there are several ways you can do this. You can mix it with water and you can like pour the solution out. But me, I'm just going to keep it simple and just sprinkle it all around because it's already raining and wet we're gonna do it the easy way Doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. And I'm not going to overdo it. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me show you how it looks. So that's about how much I use. I'm going to keep this on hand and just use it whenever I need it. I'm going to do more research on it. Please do your research on Epsom salt. We need that magnesium sulfate. Okay? This is how I did it, y'all. Just sprinkle it out there. Everywhere. All over. Here's a close-up. And I'm so glad it stopped raining. So I can get out here and do this. The soil is looking really good, y'all. I do have to get in here and just you know pick out some of these rocks you're never gonna get all the rocks out but um yeah and i'm not gonna bother it anymore until it's time to plow and turn the soil over and then i may put some more you know in there and do it again but yeah y'all look up epsom salt there's a lot of um nutrients in it the plants are going to need especially like t for tomatoes and stuff like that and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching this video let's get growing i'll see y'all on the next one